hello fashion lovers you're welcome once again to my channel so i'm gonna be teaching you how to make this gorgeous ankara ball dress for a four-year-old child in a separate video i'm gonna be uploading how i embellished the gown and then i'm gonna be dropping another video on of how i made the ball the bow at the back okay do well to subscribe if you have not done so so let's get started guys so here is my ankara fabric that i'll be using and i'll be using this green taffeta fabric and this black one i'll be using for my lining i have my ad net two yards ad net and i'm gonna be embellishing with these flowers so back to my pattern, I already drafted this pattern in the previous video on my channel but I'm gonna be using, doing a little bit of modification for the back. Okay, so I'm gonna put the front aside now so that we can work on the back pattern. You can watch that video of how I drafted my kiddies um, basic bodies on the channel in case you are interested in watching. So on the waistline, I'm coming up by 2 inches. The reason why I'm coming up by 2 inches is because I'm going to be using half an inch to sew the upper part and then another half an inch to join these bodies to the skirt part of the dress. So I'll have 1 inch left on the waistline when I'm done. So for the neck design, for the back neck design, I'm going to be using my pattern master to draft out the shape that I want for the back. Okay, so I'm just going to place my pattern master like so and then I will trace out the shape. Once I'm satisfied with the shape I have at the back, I'm just going to trace it out like so. You can see how this is looking, so I'm satisfied with it, so I'm going to cut it out now. So once I'm done cutting this out, I'm going to place it on my Ankara fabric and use and cut it out. So before you cut out, make sure you pin your fabric down. Make sure you pin your patterns down so they lay flat and they don't move. Okay? So I already have my seam allowances on the pattern. So I don't need to add extra seam allowance to my fabric. So I'm just indicating the wrong side of the fabric because they look alike. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to sew down my loops for the back lacing okay i won't be making this video too long because i already have that in the channel so you can go ahead and watch that and then we can proceed you can see my loop is already sewn to the back bodies and i've gone ahead to iron paper stay on my front bodies so the next thing I'm going to do is to place this on the front bodies and join the shoulders using half an inch seam allowance. I'm going to do the same thing for my lining piece. Place them on each other like so and then join it by half an inch. So now I'm done joining the shoulders as you can see. And I've gone ahead to join the lining piece as well. So I'll iron my fabric, the lining piece, and the main fabric. So I'm taking one inch for my zipper allowance. Don't forget, it's one inch I used for my zipper allowance. So I'm just marking that down. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that round, sew down the neckline and top stitch. Okay, so I've gone ahead to sew down and I top stitched. I notched as well before top stitching. You can see how it looks. 
So you can see my zipper allowance space. You can see I didn't sew on top of my zipper allowance. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out four inches net fabric. So the length of this net fabric is 30 inches. So I layered eight nets on top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and use the gathering stitch on the net part. So I've done that off camera. So for my side seam allowance, I used one inch. So I'm going to mark that one inch on both sides. And then I'll place my gathered net on the arm or circumference like so. And I'm going to sew this down on the lining piece alone. So now I'm done sewing it down on the lining piece. I'm just going to fold it gently like so. And then I'll use my main fabric to cover the lining piece and the net, matching my seam, my side seam allowance, my shoulder seam allowance. I'll match them together and then I'll sew this down and I'll do the same thing for the other side. So I've gone ahead to join them both on both sleeves so the next thing i'm going to do now is to trim off the excess that i have don't forget that you need to sew down your armhole very tightly i sewed this down like three times so it does not unravel so i'm trimming out the excess so that it will be easy for me to turn out my sleeves by the time i'm ready to turn it out so if you leave it, it, it might be too bulky for you to turn out, okay? So that's why I'm trimming off the excess. So I will have it, so it's going to be easy for me to turn out. So I'm just trimming out the excess on both sleeves like so. So the next thing I'm going to do, from the front bodies, I'm going to be pulling out the net like so don't pull the net too hard because you might end up ripping it and spoiling your work so i'm doing this gently and i'm going to pull this out i'll continue pull out, pulling it out until the back side comes out so i'll do the same thing for the other side i'll pull it out just the way i did the other one once i'm done pulling it out I will go ahead and iron this off camera. So now that I'm done pulling this out, the next thing I'm going to do, you can see the back part, how clean this is looking on the inside, okay? The next thing to do now is to match up my seam allowance. When matching up your seam allowance, just make sure that you you you, you face your lining lining to lining, main fabric to main fabric. So I'll do the same thing on the other side too. Lining to lining, main fabric to main fabric, and I'll go ahead and sew down my seam allowance of 1 inch. So I'm done joining my seam allowance on both sides. So you can see how clean this is looking already. So I'm just going to put this aside so I can concentrate on the back. Okay, so the full length of the child is 24.5. So I've already used 10 inches for the body. So I have a um, 14.5 left so now for my Ankara piece I'm using a waist times 5 for the Ankara circumference why the length I use 16 inches for the length so I'm gonna hem the bottom I went ahead to hem the bottom and I gathered the waistline so for the for the 
lining piece i made my lining piece two inches shorter than my ankara fabric so the next thing i'm going to do is to open up my my bodice like so separating the bodies from the lining piece i'm just going to gather my my ankara fabric on the waistline as you can see i've gathered it already so i'm just going to place it on the front bodies alone and then I'm going to sew this down. So I'm going to sew this down using half an inch seam allowance. So now I'm just cutting 7 inches on my hard net. I'm going to cut all the 2 yards by 7 inches each, okay? So after I'm done cutting the hard net, I'm going to mark my fabric, my lining fabric, I will just make sure that the lining, the net, the hard net is like two inches or two and a half inches shorter than my lining piece. So under my line that I marked, I'm going to pleat the lining. I'm going to pleat the hard net on that line and on the waist line. So once I'm done pleating on my lining, once I'm done pleating the hard net on my lining piece, I'm going to take it, as you can see, I'm done pleating. I pleated just half an inch away from the waistline and then I pleated on that mark that I, that I drew. You can see the net is shorter than, my, than the length of my lining. So now I'm just going to gather this on the waistline of the Ankara lining. So I'm going to place it right sides facing each other and I'm going to pleat it and sew this down off camera. My, uh, my lining piece for the Ankara, I made the Ankara five, five times. I times the Ankara by five times, but for the lining piece, I cut out the lining piece by two times. Okay, waist times two, that's what I did for the lining piece. Why for the Ankara piece, I did waist times five. So you can see I've gone ahead to join them separately. You can see how this is looking already. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take this to my sewing machine. But before then, from the waistline, I'm going to mark four inches. From the actual seam line for the waist, I'm going to mark four inches on the from the waistline down and then i will sew whatever i have left till i get to that four inch mark and i'll stop there don't forget that the seam allowance we are using for this dress is one inch so i just went ahead and marked the four inches but I didn't know that my camera did not capture the four inches. So I just marked down the four inches here. From the seam line, mark down four inches. And then from that four inches, sew down to the hem, till you get to the hem. Okay? So I'm going to place it right sides facing each other like so and I'm going to sew from the hem till I get to that 4 inch mark that I have on the fabric.
So make sure your seam aligns properly before sewing this together. So once I'm done sewing this down, I'm going to go ahead and attach my zipper on the opening that I have on the waistline. You can see me marking the 4 inches there. So I'm going to stop on that 4 inch line and then I will back stitch my stitch. Don't forget you have to cut off your excess thread when you are sewing. This is one attribute of a neat tailor. So now from the opening I have at the top there, I'm going to sew down my zipper on that opening. I've Sew it on the Ankara first before turning with the lining. So I've gone ahead to attach my zip. You can see my zipper. So I've attached it to the, to the dress. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take my lining piece. And I will sew down the lining like so. I'll cover the zip and sew the zip down. I will sew down my lining. So I'm just turning the fabric inside out so that it's going to be easy for me to sew my lining piece. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like my videos, invite your friends, share the videos with your friends, and let's learn together. So this is where my zipper stopped, where I placed my hand. So I'm going to come down from that point a little, and I will sew down the lining till I get to that mark and I will stop. I will sew it down like so and I will stop when I get to that mark. I will do the same thing for the other side of the lining. Close down the lining with the dress. So you can see what I have. So my lining is, you can see where I stopped on the chalk mark. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take my lining piece together like so and I'll sew it down till I get to that mark, that chalk mark that I have there. Maintaining my one inch zipper allowance. So this way, I've successfully joined my lining piece separately and my main fabric separately. With this method, this is a clean finish method, okay? The inside is clean, the outside is clean, okay? Hope you learned one or two things. Don't forget, leave a thumbs up and then leave a comment in the comment section. Encourage me, embarrass me with your subscription. Embarrass me, please. So I'm just, you can see how clean the inside of this dress is looking. You can see how clean this is looking. So I'm just going to adjust my zip like so. And I will zip it up. 
you can see this is looking so gorgeous already so let's take it to the mannequin so this is what we have done successfully this is how the sleeve is looking but i don't want my sleeve looking like this so i'm gonna fluff the sleeve out so after fluffing i will, I will trim off the sleeve a little I just want the sleeve to have a round edge, a round shape. So you can leave yours like this in case you want yours to be like this. But I want mine to, to, be, to look rounded, okay? I don't want it to look too full on the armhole line. So I'm going to trim off a little, just a little from that point. I'll trim it off on both sleeves both the front and the back so thank you guys for watching don't forget to watch how i embellished the dress in the other video i'll be leaving the, the i'll be leaving the link in the description on how i embellish the dress and i'm gonna be dropping another link in the description box on how i made the bow okay thank you so much for watching guys thank you thank you thank you hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial i enjoyed filming this tutorial and i hope you enjoyed watching it as well don't forget to fluff out your sleeve when you are done making yours you can follow us on Facebook, on our Facebook group at Fanny Mats Fashion Academy. You can drop your videos, your pictures, or the pictures of your dress when you are done making it. Let's learn together. Thank you for...